Howdy folks and welcome to this let's play of Planet Base. We're going to carry on from where we left off at the end of the last session, which we were playing. Alright, there we are, where we exactly left off at the end of the last session, which was save number 23. <clears throat> As you can see at the moment, i got a fair number of people walking around here, which is great. <clears throat> exactly what I was hoping for. Got connections to a new southern part of the base where I'm still expanding. I'm basically trying to build up a robotic facility here as well, so at least I can repair my robots. I'm also building a brand new starport here. <clears throat> I thought I'd built that last time already. But as you can see, it's still under construction. I'm also building an additional airlock here, so at least I can basically accommodate additional traffic towards and from that particular starport. Now let's have a brief look at our actual resources. <clears throat> We've got a slight surplus in terms of <clears throat> metals, which is good. I'm kind of hoping I also have a surplus in terms of <clears throat> some of the other materials. All right, that final connection is being built here and done. Now, as you can see, I've actually built here an additional sick bay. I had a sick bay up there to the north already, but this additional sick bay is close to this particular spaceport because I want to be able to receive sick in uh, sick visitors basically <clears throat> sick visitors are basically a means for me to get additional funds so i'm going to build a radio here i'm going to build a larger radio i think perfect <clears throat> plus i'm also of course inclined to build additional wind generators which i should be able to do here Right. What else do I want to do? Maybe build another power collector here. <clears throat> Call on this ship. So I've been down up to 110 still. <clears throat> so in actual fact, I suspect, like I already see here, is that that new person just that came in <clears throat> is in actual fact an intruder. <clears throat> What that means is that that particular person will not be happy and will get into combat, as you see here. Guard was uh, unfortunately a hit, so he's going to go into sick bay. <coughs> we did not lose anyone, so that's good. <coughs> but the doctor will have to come to basically heal this particular guard here. Got another sick person here. So if I look at my medical supplies, we are in a very good position, I would say. <coughs> 27 medical packs. And the surplus is already stored here. I do have in each of my sick bays additional uh, storage facilities for those, so <clears throat> quick access to them when needed. Always a good idea. Now, as you can see, I actually have prioritized these mines over here on the north side to be able to get extra stuff in. <clears throat> Looks like this doctor here is not the happiest bunny. Let's see, why is he not happy, does it say? If only I could select him. It doesn't allow me to select him, okay. Right. <clears throat> so I've got lots of starch here. Which I'm hoping to be able to turn into uh, usable materials. Workers here. <clears throat> Not sure where those workers are running around over there. 110. <clears throat> 111, perfect, so those looks to be legitimate. Now, this particular ship here <clears throat> is an actual trade ship. What kind of exchange? Are, ooh, 55% commission. I don't really like those kind of high commissions, so I prefer to just dismiss those ships. <clears throat> as quick as I can. Now, of course, I do have a control center here and I want to build additional bits in here. So I want to basically build a radio control point here, but of course, security control points are quite important as well. So 
Security control points are important for the very very reason that they will allow us to uh, <clears throat> see when intruders actually get into the base. Okay. So I've got a bar here. <clears throat> got another processing facility down here. And I've got a robotics fertility down here as well. <coughs> I will want to build a storage facility down here as well. <coughs> to not be dependent upon the one to the north all the time. Happiness seems to be an issue for these people here, unfortunately. <clears throat> Happiness I should be able to alleviate with additional TVs, I was hoping. workers coming in <clears throat> always welcome all right we're going to be building this additional wind turbine here <clears throat> plus of course the associated connection Hopefully I'll be able to store additional wind farm, windmills and so forth up there as well. Five. <clears throat> Where's my water position in terms of water production? I think I could actually use another water production facility as well. <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking of basically starting to build some extras up here. Like this one here. <clears throat> Let's maybe remove this one first. Let's maybe start by building an extra airlock here. This is on the exact opposite side. <clears throat> Small. I need to build a big one here. I want to have airlocks to be able to, of course, <clears throat> get staff out in case there is an emergency or for whatever other reasons you might need to get staff out of the actual <clears throat> base itself. Another trade ship is coming. This one is at ooh, 35. That is an amazingly good exchange rate. Good. Extra guns. <clears throat> how, how expensive is that one? Wow. Okay. Try to get my hands on. Now that is really pushing it, I think. So let's see how much in terms of food I can actually give them. That's again probably a bit too much. <coughs> Suspect that would do. Because I got two airlocks now, that should make it relatively easy to get stuff out of there. <clears throat> oh, easy, at least a lot quicker than it would be otherwise. 
as you can see people coming from two different directions towards there and we've reached this stage of robotization which basically means we've got 10 bots <coughs> Still building extra bots just for the purpose of being able to get uh, extra resources and so forth. <coughs> What's our current situation in terms of oxygen? <coughs> so we can support up to 128. <coughs> I'm kind of inclined to now say we probably have to build yet another oxygen generator plant. <laughs> so I've got one up there. I probably want to build one down here as well. Just the repair facility should do for the moment. <laughs> spares <coughs> which really tells me we need to basically calm down in terms of construction for a brief while <coughs> 40 percent commission <coughs> it's pretty decent i would say i'm gonna buy that with additional money being Add it to there, up to the point where we get to 560. A few more, and there we go. <clears throat> that should be a relatively easy trade, because it's only six of our medical supplies we're submitting to them. Taking out our medical cabinets here, unfortunately. <clears throat> But as long as I basically emphasize the production of additional ones here, as you can see, we are actually getting additional ah, mega collector patterns required. <clears throat> what I'm about to say is basically we're getting additional medical supplies to be built here. One twenty one. <clears throat> All right, this one shall be built shortly. <clears throat> Okay, and then for a little while, <clears throat> really, does it really exceed my production? Ah, because it's night, of course. <clears throat> there we go, excellent timing, excellent timing. <clears throat> right, let's make sure our other levels rise again. <clears throat> So we need spare parts, and for the, us to be able to build spare parts, we of course need additional metal, we need additional bioplastics. So bioplastics, particularly on the east side, we should be getting a lot of that on the east side. <coughs> Unfortunately, I'm not really seeing it yet. I've got a whole lot of Starks on this side. I should really be seeing a lot more production out, out of here. This structure is, in terms of oxygen, at relatively low levels, 20%. <coughs> Ideally, you don't want that to really drop to below 21. That's probably why we got that slight shade of red on there. <coughs> like, for example, if you look at this one, this got 21. Whereas this is really at 20. Probably to do with the uh, level of traffic we're getting through that particular facility. Thirty-five percent commission. Wow. <clears throat> uh, okay. <clears throat> it looks like I need to basically get my additional food production up again. <clears throat> How do I want to do that? Food production here. I can increase it over here. Getting additional tomatoes and so forth in. 
probably want to basically start recycling some of those trees here. Just because I need the space for food production. <clears throat> of course, that's nice and all on the east side, but of course, on the west side, I still need significantly extra production here as well. <clears throat> got a guard here, which is good. I've got a biodome here. I will build an extra biodome on this side here. A bigger one. Because like we were just saying, we need really significant extra investment in the actual production of food. <clears throat> Food production on the east side is pretty okay. Going up to 60 again. Hot meals, we got decent numbers of those. Again, we got decent levels of production in here as well. Storage facility here, where we at the moment have got some spares lying around. We're up to eight spares again, so that's a good indicator typically. But despite having had a short short while ago, we are again in positive production numbers here. I'm pretty sure I had a factory down here as well. Like this one here. I also have an arms workshop here. Spares workshop and of course a semiconductor workshop. But for the most part, I want to make sure I focus in on this particular one on, of course, spares. <clears throat> spares is one of the biggest requirements really for any base like this one here. Another trading ship has arrived. <clears throat> and then again, 45% commission is not bad. Most definitely not bad. My doctors are still engaged in uh, getting additional uh, bits and bobs here. <coughs> What's our antenna looking like? We have an antenna, and at the moment it is manned. Uh, sorry, it says unoperated. Not being operated from the command center. There we go. size of that <clears throat> look at the size of that one that's huge <clears throat> but that's kind of the idea behind it Those are intruders, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we lost the guard. <coughs> lost some colonists. Um, yep, yeah, unfortunately, we lost a total of three colonists. <coughs> unfortunately, that is an occasional occurrence here. <clears throat> now when we're building additional food production facilities here we also want to make sure we got extra storage here so i got a relatively small sized medium sized storage facility here in addition to that i will want to build an additional storage facility just to the north of there <clears throat> to be able to capture any of the overflow all right robot repair facility has been built Turbines being built there. Structures low on oxygen. Yeah, okay, that was that one. <clears throat> but that was only really in the moment of actual connection being established. Oh, 
Oh, hold on, what happened? It sounded like I just lost someone. Asphyxiation, really? How can someone asphyxiate over here? Okay. Pretty sure I got decent food production up on here. Or down here, I should say. Alright, let's get some extra stuff in here. Extra tables and so forth. Extra TV will help us all. Of course, an extra drink fountain as well. are being built. <clears throat> in terms of spares, we're in a good position here, it looks like. Got no guns in here at the moment. Also use some extra tables. Welcome on base. <clears throat> we're at 133 now. It looks like we're actually growing exponentially. But, looking at the clock, I think it's about time for us to call it a day. So I'm going to be saving the game. Uh, I will save 24 as you saw. And then I'd like to say thanks again for watching. Hopefully I will see you on the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.